We're checking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Spandau Ballet. And we're going back to the 1981 album Journeys to Glory. Um, I was looking on Discogs, and it looks like we're up to the penultimate tune on the album. Though, as I sit here, I don't know if in the same folder uh, for this album there's any bonus tunes or extra tracks. Um, so, once again, shout out to Han Solo for making this available to me. Uh, yeah, and we're up to the tune. Make sure I have this right. Um, yeah, Confused. Um, I thought it was just Confused, uh, but Confused, it's a state of mind in, where, in which one does not know what's happening, one is not clear about all the elements at play, what their sympathies or potential motivations are, um, or, you know, maybe they're inanimate objects, but ultimately um, it's a, it refers to which a mental state in which one is not entirely clear about what is happening, and perhaps there's at least an implication that uh, reality, sort of, you know, whatever the situation is, appears to be illogical or it doesn't conform to what wouldn't one would expect to see. Uh, because if the world does conform to your pre-existing expectations, um, then it feels a natural progression. You certainly wouldn't feel confused. Um, now, obviously, one can be confused, like, immediately in a sort of practical, like, logistical sense. One can be confused by the, you know, motivation or emotion behind someone's statement or actions. So it can happen on, like, different levels. Um, but we're basically speaking to a mental state in which one um, does not see or experience what one expects to. So let's find out what it may mean. This is Spandau Ballet. The tune is confused and it's on Journeys to Glory 1981.
a bit more electronic. to see um, so but then it felt like it was more just about you know you have to know what's going on to make a decision but even if you're confused if you're on like a timeline if there's an urgency and you don't have a lot of time time is running out um, then you might have to act or decide despite not having all the sort of variables in play and therefore you know you might make a choice which you'll later regret and which was only born of your ignorance in that moment so it felt like there was like a time pressurized decision that had to be made by somebody, but for whatever reason, um, they were still confused. So, yeah, got to listen to it some more lyrically. But like I said, it had a very catchy vibe. It was kind of that 80s synth rock sort of feel. Um, again, there was a moment where it was sort of giving me Men at Work vibes, so, you know, hopefully that comparison um, isn't bothersome. I know sometimes they make comparisons and then people are sort of like, yeah, I don't see that, or, you know, maybe there's like um, part of the comparison that they don't appreciate for one reason or another, uh, which again, it's totally fine um, if that is the case in some of these comparisons, don't hesitate to say like, wait, I'm not buying that. Um, but yeah, and there was a moment there where it was sort of like making me think about, you know, I'm kind of going through Men at Work, um, sort of rediscovering their work, and there was a moment where it was giving me, giving me a similar feeling. In any case, uh, let me know what you think of this one. Um, as I said, I think there's maybe only one tune left, although there might be some bonus tracks, um, and then we'll be on to another album. So let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.